Well, Jason Goodman texted me. He said, are you going to church today? And I said, yes. And, he, and I said, are you? He's like, nope. And then he texted me back a little bit later. He said, yep. My wife, Carol, convinced me. Wow. It was on Sunday. Yes. Oh. That's when people go to church. Oh, that's great. That's least. the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be Wednesday, right? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. And I guess with your background is Saturday. That's uh, true. Temple. Uh, for you and your tradi- Jewish mm. traditions for your father. Usually Saturday, oh, right? I don't know. I think so. Um, if you're Seventh Day Adventist Saturday, but we're getting sidetracked here. And then Jason's like, "I'm going to church." I'm like, "Why?" He goes, and he told me how his wife Carol convinced him. I go, "Okay, I'd go to church too." Yeah, mm. the most non-church way to ever get someone to go to church, Jason. Well, yeah, because uh, my wife has been bugging me to go to church for weeks now. And in fact, uh, she brings Everly, and they have a good uh, the Summit area a church that we go to has a good like a kids kind of program, mm-hmm. and she loves going. Everly loves going. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, you guys just go. So they've been going together for, for a while, but she bugs me every time to go. Um, and then this particular week, Carol said, well, if you go, that could mean sexy time later. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey. Jason, like, let's go. Uh, so I said, I'm getting dressed now. <laughs> uh, Can't wait to see Pastor uh, Jenkins. Yes. Funny, I've been, Pastor Jenkins. The good man's here. <laughs> I've been praying to God hard for sexy time, too. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All in one day. He delivered. Yeah. Uh, so, because, uh, you know, I, I haven't been to church like that since, well, I, you know, when I started going to church, I started doing that, you know. Because, you know, I'm agnostic. I fall in between. I get pulled in different directions. It's very mm-hmm. annoying. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you're is. annoyed by yourself. Yeah. It's so annoying. And oh. then, uh, you know, I, I felt like I started going to church. And then all of a sudden, oh, I just went to church and the pan- pandemic happened. Not going back. <laughs> <laughs> That's so the went, reason. <laughs> and it was good. Of course, you know, I like the the musical part. That's my way of of connecting. Yeah, yes. sure. Because um, they so have like I, a full band, right? Yeah, it's like a full band. They do like three pretty good, good songs. Really, they're really good. I'm. It's like shocking how good the band is, mm-hmm. and that's kind of the m- thing I pay attention. But I really, when I go, I'm v- paying attention hardcore. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Jason, you're one of those people that if you were to be a part of a religion and you really like believed it, <sighs> yeah, you'd be a thousand percent in. Oh yeah, yeah. which is yeah. a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I con- concentrated hard, and we <laughs> went, and um, did she deliver? Well, we had a full day yesterday, and she had her HOA friends over to plan the social committee thing for the ma- neighborhood. And then after, as soon as I got in the bedroom, I started hearing her go, oh, I don't feel that good. Oh, mm. my gosh. Mm. Um, That's yeah. Satan talking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, Having her break her covenant she's made with Jason That Goodman. snake wow. whispering in her ear. <laughs> my allergies are bothering me. Oh, my oh. gosh. And I thought, is this going to be one of the things where she goes, well, if you hurry... Or if you make it, <laughs> if you make it quick, if you make it quick, yeah, that's where you have to you have to get that ahead of time. Like so, it's got to yeah. be a full on. Yeah. So I was yeah. just like, I don't want to kind of start something and have her go. If you make it quick, yes. I wasn't in the yeah. mood for that, right? Mm-hmm. Plus, I was a little tired myself. Of course, I would have plowed through it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Literally, uh, just once I started hearing that I'm su- when she was super tired and sneezing, you know, like my conclusion of the day was. Less evidence. Oh, <laughs> less evidence. Less church time. I prayed for it. I got convinced <laughs> to go there. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Man. Okay. Well, you still didn't ask. That's Asking, right. you shall receive. You just kind of. I didn't it. ask, but you would. At some point, it would be nice if she started. You know. I mean. No, I, I agree. And I don't want the whole. If you make it quick. No, that's so disheartening. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's then it, like guys joke around like you know. We're not a piece of meat, but that does make you feel like a piece of meat. We're like, just hurry up. Yeah, once There's in a no while. There's no passion. Yeah, yeah once yeah, in a while. Yeah, for fun, like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. hey, you know, the, we're about to go out and the babysitter's coming. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. it's not uh-huh. the worst thing in the world to be a piece of meat, but, I mean, <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. You're right. But not when it's the norm. Can we call your wife? Try. Oh, God. I'm not, no, no, we won't mess <laughs> you up. Actually, I think she's working today. Okay. At a daycare, so I'm not sure if she's even home. Can we try? Or it's up to you. I don't want to um, check the camera. I'm, I'm checking the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know we had a car problem, too, but she didn't call me about being stuck in the garage. So. I was going to say she had a garage door again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that your car no, problem? It's, just, it's the garage door? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just, no, she is gone, so the car started. That That's what happens, she... Jason. You go to church and the devil attacks. He does. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's true. another yeah. thing. Yeah. That's true. Car problem. Yeah, but that's how it goes, though. I mean, if you're if you know if as you learn more about 
whatever religion, but especially Christianity, all the big leaders had major opposition. Mm -hmm. Moses and they, the children of Israel wandered as you a chosen try. people in the wilderness for 40 years, not days, <laughs> years. years. Yeah, and Moses yeah. died before they got to the promised land, but... Still, I don't know what you're talking about, but I, know. <laughs> I, I will say, you can call her, I guess. I think All right. she's, I think, if I'm not mistaken, she's working at a daycare today. This is okay. day two stuff you're throwing at him, Jared. Yeah, I know, this is, <laughs> right. let my man get through day oh, one. I paid In attention. the beginning. I yeah. paid attention yesterday, because it was my favorite, one of my favorite uh, preachers, pastors, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he was very good. I mean, you know, we're talking about, like, our sins, and really, our, it's got to be through the lens of Jesus and all this stuff. No, it's true, and uh, that. I'm a big believer. God's like rooting for you, not the yeah, opposite, like right. where he wants to like punish you and looking for you to yes. make ways to keep you out. I, but, I left church saying, I'm going to sin more. Oh, well, that's not the message. <laughs> <laughs> I think you missed the did, point. <laughs> that is not the message. <laughs> hey, I wasn't there. I feel like that was not <laughs> the sermon. It was, basically. Sin I mean, more? <laughs> well, no, it was just like. I reached Carol Griffin. Right. I'm unavailable. So she's probably okay. at the daycare, I think, working at this today okay. but yeah I, I when when he's explaining things and he does it in such an entertaining engaging way i mean there's really something special about people that can just it's a, it's it's, a it's, skill it's, yeah mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like pay attention to how he's doing i mean there's a lot of movement and there's a lot of like statements that he kind of throws out there it's at times it can be funny mm -hmm. like he'll give it a, a funny example like oh the list of oh you, oh you you know you look at other people and like oh that's a sin that's a sin but didn't you ignore your own list but uh, he was basically saying, you know, that um, even God looks through the lens of Jesus, and we should be looking through the lens of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But I'm agnostic, so, you know. <laughs> even, I'm almost partly atheist after the Carol thing. Yeah. <laughs> Give her time to pay up. Yeah. It doesn't all happen in a day, necessarily. Well, it was for that day. Well, you, uh, that's one thing. It's like Jason's real specific when he makes bets with us, you know, or at least we're specific with him, I guess we should say, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. cover all the bases. I'm surprised you weren't like, all right, it needs to be paid by the end of the day today. Yeah. By the end of business day. No, but end well, of it, Sunday it, it, and not one of these quickie things. And or would you rather do it tomorrow? But it has to be a full on. But see, to me, it's not necessarily the quickie thing because I end up being quick anyways. <laughs> but you know what I mean? But, but I don't. It's like the attitude and the, the attitude. want. It's, what? it's the, the want. It's not just like, oh, gosh, I got to do that. You know, it's just, that's not a try. You want to feel wanted? Jason? I figured. I do. I do. Yeah. I do. Yes. Well, who doesn't? I do want to yeah. feel wanted. I figured <laughs> the next time you made one of these bets for sexy time, you would put a uh, statute of limitations, like how long it would have to take after the dress debacle. Right. It took you, what, two years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I do want to, Matt, but then again, it, it kind of loses its, like, I was more of a, like, well, was, you know, if she's like, well, sexy time, I'm like, all right, I don't want to put all these conditions, because then it starts not becoming. It's too planned. Uh, it's too yeah. planned. Yeah. 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 I mean, you all you can say is, like, hey, can we just do it by uh, the end of today or tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> the dress thing, think about that. The dress thing, this was, what, Miami or something? Yeah. Like a, I don't know, $100, $200, $200 dress. I don't yeah. know what it was. Expensive dress, and she said she would. Provide services for you, and, <laughs> and the thing for is, the goods. then when yeah. like it does happen, she could just say, "Oh, that was for the dress." It could just be when she wants to do it. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. No, That's no. why I was hoping that you know she's just going to be like, "All right, let's," you know, because she seemed like she was a part of it. But I guess, I mean, she probably is tired, and she probably does have allergies. It's always late when we're getting in there, and we run it around all day. But I just, I think once it starts, it changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would try today. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it do anyways. Yeah, yeah it's a, <laughs> try every day. Just say, hey, <laughs> hey, remember the thing we agreed to? Let's uh, let's do let's uh, do that today. Yeah. Or I'm looking forward to cashing in today. So it's like not like you have to do it. Like I'm looking forward to it. You can tell you know? her what you told us. You feel like this is less evidence. Yeah, and less of a chance for you to want to go back to church. Like, it is. Or maybe, go. maybe you could be like, hey, Carol, I was thinking about going to church Wednesday, and just seeing if that created anything. Yeah, start no, anything. If, if I was thinking about going, I should not. If if it happened, if it would happen, I might be going to church every day. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I knew that the, the outcome was that, I'd be like Monday through Friday out there. Y'all open any today. synagogue of any religion that's open <laughs> <laughs> every day of the week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. and the, the thing is, Jason, if it were the case that if you tr just and we're all like fall short, but let's say if everyone who believed in a higher being just had you know great success and everything went their way, everyone would go. Exactly. Yeah. But it's not that way. you got to be tested. And that's the, the, the Carol two, is testing you. The two big yeah. questions. The two big questions I have, because I was like, you know, she was talking about we have a uh, my neighbor in the neighborhood, and they typically go to the same church, and, you know, there's some issues health-wise, but he, he came through. 
And he's like, you know, he goes to church and he prays, and I believe that God has something to do with that. And I'm like, okay, well, my biggest question is then why when we have these kids that have a tumor and we pray, that tumor doesn't get better or that uh, our kid doesn't live or, and the mm-hmm. kid dies and the disastrous things that we have. So it's just, it's such a big uh, deal to me. It's, it's I can't get over that. And, for, I, and I know for you, Jared, you're like, well, that's he wants to show and it. There's a reason for it, but that's hard to uh, comprehend when you start looking at that way. Well, if you look at beings, not to get too far into it, as eternal beings that we've always existed, always will exist, yes, it's very difficult to see, and no one wants to have it happen to them or to their kids or whatever. But if you know that this is just part of the journey, then it makes it the sting. It still hurts, but not as uh, yeah. the sting yeah. as bad. It still stings, but not as bad. And I, and I will say, when you know, when I go there, it's not like it's a. It I really feel like what's being taught or talked about is very positive and very good for people right and and maybe even provides a lot of comfort for people and it maybe even influences people to be better and that's the Mm. thing it's like just try to do better yeah because we're all Mm going to make mistakes every single day and then not give up on yourself i taught sunday school on sunday same similar message really with the i teach now i used to teach the adult class and i teach like uh, seventh graders okay and so boys and girls and you know that's a tough they're all like well they're 13 you know it's a tough time but I was just the message was you're going to make mistakes. Don't ever give up on yourself because God is not looking to keep you out. He's trying to find ways to keep you in and he loves you. And I think that and if, I just think if you can motivate people and make them believe, which is true, that God does love you and is on your side, because there is some kind of, kind of that narrative out there that God is like, oh, you messed up. No, you screwed not, up. You're yeah. not good enough. That's how I always mm-hmm. perceived it. And he's it's like, not the case. He's not at all. Not like at all. That. You know, and it's, 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 you know, you're trying to envision these sins through Jesus, but it's just, you know, I mean, even like when Everly goes to the, uh, the kids stuff and it's all very positive. She has whatever they're doing. They have the system that makes everybody seem happier. Yes. More comforting. They are very, um, she, she loves going and they, right. and they're, and they're, they're playing games, but yet there's, it's like incorporating like religion. So it's not like boring. Right. You know it's not like heavy handed. No, yeah, no, right. no, not at all. It's kind of, it's, it's light, but you know, it's just, you know, it's this, the thing that I'm torn about. I, yeah. I mean, no, a lot of things and there will be things we won't know. Here, here's the big one. Yeah. I can't get over the fact that if I really want something like I really, I'm that, that I'm only doing it and believing and have faith because I'm, I'm selfish. Mm. So I don't like that either. I'm, I feel as though if I was to believe in it, like 100%, I'm being selfish because I want good things to happen to me, and that's not really. I, I think as you get further down mm. the road, you realize there you get, you receive blessings, but that's not the reason you do it. Yeah. You just well, do it. It just becomes part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we got a convert here, guys. No. Yeah. We're, We're on the right close. track. I'm, We're going to pull out the agnostic side. I'm mm. lean, I, if I, out, of, out of the agnostic feeling. Mm-hmm. Oh, except for when I went on Sunday, I came a little bit to the middle. But then that night, I went back to the uh, Carol, atheist. Carol, come on! What are you doing, Carol? You're creating Satan. You got to do God's work. <laughs> and, and, and with, with the world the way it is, and the people oh, the way they are, yep. I start leaning more agnostic. Mm. I mean, I'm sorry, more atheist. I'm not atheist. No, I know because anything's possible. That's right. Right, I mean, and this is probably less evidence, too. We have the fate of Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> but, Jason, keep us up to date on if Carol pays up, hopefully within uh, the calendar year. 